Joining us now on the change as well as the state of sports and streaming, betting, team ownership, Boston Red Sox uh, chairman Tom Werner. He's also chairman of Fenway Sports Group, which includes the Pittsburgh uh, Penguins and, uh, and, and the duo. Uh, I always say it wrong. It's, it's Carsey Werner. That's what it was, wasn't it, Tom? That's right, Joe. Good oh, you morning. Got, you got anything for us? I'm, I'm always craving content. You've got so many places to show something now. It's the golden age for you know with streaming and all these other uh all these other pipes to get content out you got anything for us sure well first of all the content of baseball this year is improving as you know we've spent a lot of time looking at how to make the game faster how to have more balls in play uh how to make the action on the field more exciting and after a number of years of, of talking about it we actually now have a pitch clock which i think uh in spring training has proved that the games are almost 30 minutes faster. And more importantly, the players have embraced it. And I think our fans will love it. They'll get home earlier and they'll be able to watch you with uh, having slept in their half hour. I do. I like watching. I can watch it slow or fast. I, I don't know. I, I guess I've been watching baseball for so long. If it's 0-0 in the 10th, I can still I can still watch if the pitcher's taken. I mean, I would take my time. If it was zero to zero, wouldn't you? But I understand the changes. What about anything in the in the way uh, shifts work? I don't know if that's so sure. great. Well, one, one of oh, I love the defensive shifts. You know, analytics have have taken on an improper place in the importance of having an edge. This is a way of getting baseball back to having two infielders on the right side of second base and two on the left, and it's going to increase more balls in play Good. and show more athleticism from the infielders. So. Again, you know, we've tested these in the minor leagues. We've tested these in spring training, these changes. And they've really been embraced by our fans. And I think when you go to a, a baseball game, you're going you're gonna to feel that the pitcher has the ball, he throws the ball, and it's going to increase the intensity of the game. We had uh, Commissioner Bettman on the other day, and we were talking about, um, about like, the local sports. And baseball is so important for, for baseball, for you know, like whoever broadcasts the Reds in, in Cincinnati, it seems like it, it should be easy to make money. What, what's the problem? What has to happen? And does there need to be consolidation? And, and finally, with, with all the local sports networks? Well, this is obviously a disruptive time. I mean, we've all seen that the, uh, the people who uh, are getting their content, uh, they don't necessarily are getting it from their cable provider or getting, their, getting it from their satellite provider. Uh, what is important is is getting more people to watch the game wherever they want to see it. So we've obviously uh, going to an era of direct-to-consumer uh, reach. We're going to uh, show the games this year on linear broadcast, as, as always, on streamers. Uh, the important thing is right now that there is disruption in the system, but our fans are going to get the games this season. I know that there's been a lot of talk about... Uh, Sinclair and, and AT&T, but the uh, commissioner has assured the fans that they will get the games this season while we sort out uh, how to get the games to the uh, fans as economically as possible. When I haven't paid attention to, uh, to how much teams are, are worth at this point. Is it in MLB, would you say it's the same type of appreciation we've seen in the, for example, the NBA? I, I probably can't match the NFL, but uh, it's still a, 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 I mean, it's still a great business, I think, it, isn't it? I, I think uh, sports franchises have, have uh, increased, uh, whether it's the NFL or the NBA or MLB or hockey, uh, because there's so few of them. And because, you know, this is, again, sports is must-see content. I mean, there's no question that, you know, we, we're a polarized society, but everybody loves sports. And uh, you can see the top ratings for uh any any show in television, like 70 out of the top 80 are, are sports uh, contests. So, you know, the content is strong. How we distribute it to uh, the fans is something that, that is, is uh, going to get sorted out. But there's no doubt that uh, franchise values are increasing because people love sports.